and welcome to Breathe Within Yoga. My name is Julianne Duffy, and thank you for coming and checking out this video. Today we're going to go through a very simple, short yoga, chair yoga practice. Um, now one thing, if, this, if you are new to yoga, I'd like to reinforce a few basic ideas. One of the first and most important idea is that no matter what's happening, no matter what's going on, as long as you're breathing, you're doing yoga. So as long as we bring ourselves back to our breath and back to that focus, we are coming into yoga. So all the moves that we go through this morning, evening, whatever time of day it is for you, um, are all recommendations, recommendations and suggestions. So if anything doesn't feel quite right, you are always welcome to just come back to a comfortable seated position. So well, let's start. So we're going to come into a comfortable seat position. I recommend a nice sturdy chair, something like a foldable chair without arms, that works fantastic. Um, something that is sturdy and isn't going to move. If you've got floors that are Going to move, make sure you do have a mat or something to grip your chair. And then we're going to sit up tall. You want to make sure you have some space between your back and the chair. So we're going to move, scoot yourselves forward so we've got some space. Gently place our hands onto our thighs. We're going to imagine here, we're going to start to imagine that we're being lengthened and pulled right from the top of the head. And someone's pulling us from our tailbone towards the floor. If it feels appropriate, you can start to gently close your eyes. Just starting to notice everything around us. As we take a deep, full breath in, we notice how that feels to take that breath in and just to let it go. And while we're here, noticing our breath, we'll start to work on activating our core. So we're going to sit up tall. Again, the eyes can be closed or gently gazing forward. We're imagining someone's lengthening us from the spine. We're going to gently roll those shoulders up towards the ears and down the back. Shoulders are away from the ears. We're sitting tall. The chest is open towards the front of the room. We're activating our core. We're going to pull our belly button to spine, pulling up on the pelvis. We've got a strong, active belly core midsection here. We're taking one more deep, full breath. So there's a lot going on. Don't worry if you don't remember everything. We're just imagining we're really strong in that core midsection. Let go of that next breath. As we come to the next inhale, we can gently let those arms start to come up towards our ceiling. Let the arms lengthen, reach towards the sky. If it's comfortable, gaze towards the ceiling. And then we'll exhale gently. Let those arms come back down towards the floor. Let's do that once again, mindful of the shoulders, taking a deep breath in, just letting the arms come as high as comfortable. If they don't quite make it towards the ceiling, that's okay. We're trying to keep those shoulders away from the ears, lengthening through the spine, and then we'll gently exhale, the arms come back down towards the floor. Excellent, sitting tall. Let's add a little twist here. We're gonna bring our right hand to our left thigh. We're sitting tall. We're gonna gently bring the left hand by our hip. If it's comfortable and you can grab your seat, feel free to hold the seat. We're gonna sit up a little bit taller. Again, deep inhale. And then we're, as we exhale, we're gonna use that breath to help gently twist over to our left side. This is perfect, sitting up a little bit taller. Now, if it feels appropriate with your neck, you can gently start to bring your chin over your shoulder. Maybe we start to gaze behind the room. If that feels, again, necessary and appropriate, get that little bit of extra stretch. Once more, deep inhale. Gently bring the gaze back towards the center as we slowly unwind, coming back through. Let's elongate through the spine. Again, another deep breath in. Let's take that arms overhead this time, reach the arms towards the ceiling, and this time we'll just let the left hand land on the right thigh as the right hand gently lands right around the hip, grabbing the chair. Again, we're sitting tall, lengthening through this core. Exhale as we twist, starting to gaze maybe behind us. Once again, it's always an option. You can just stay right here, gazing over to our right side. Let's take another deep, full breath. And then slowly exhale, gently unwinding. Let's inhale, reach those arms overhead. 
As we exhale, we're gonna keep our seated bones in the chair. So we're only gonna be, we're gonna be mindful that we're gonna keep ourselves grounded and seated and our feet are about two fists between them. Toes are spread nice and wide. And then as we exhale, we're gonna let the torso come over the thighs, let the hands come towards the feet, chin to chest. We're gonna stay with our breath. So as we inhale, maybe we come just a little bit away from our thighs. We feel our chest start to increase with that breath. And then as we exhale, we allow ourselves to float or sink a little bit deeper towards the thighs. We'll stay here for two more mindful breaths. So again, deep, full inhale, feel the chest. Or notice how the chest expands as we take a deep breath in. And then as we exhale, maybe we imagine we've got a tiny bit more room to reach towards the feet, the floor, shins, wherever our hands land. One last focus breath, deep inhale, lengthen through the spine as we allow the torso to start to raise from the thighs. And then we'll exhale, letting our complete breath go. So maybe imagining someone squeezing out our breath as we completely melt forward. Slowly we'll start to come back up through seated. Keep the chin tucked as we gently come back up, sitting tall. Deep breath in, we can close the eyes. Let's readjust and realign. So we're sitting tall, core is active, belly button to spine. Again, someone's lengthening us right from the top of the head. Let's bring those shoulders up towards the ears and gently roll them down the spine. Let's take our right leg forward. And we're just gonna have our, our ankle on the floor to start. We've got a slight angle in our leg. So we're a little bend in our knees so it isn't locked. We'll sit up tall, we'll reach the arms overhead, inhale, exhale to lift out of the hips, letting the torso come forward, let the hands land on the thigh, the shin, if it feels appropriate, towards the foot. Again, chin to chest. Let's take another deep, full breath here as we inhale. Again, we're gonna feel the chest expand. Exhale as we sink. Slowly, we're going to inhale, we're bringing ourselves back up through to our seated position, sitting up beautifully tall, elongating through the spine. We'll bring that right hand leg back under the knee, so the knee is over the ankle, sitting tall. Let's do it with the other side. So we'll bring that left leg forward, ankle is supported on the floor, a little bend in the knee so it isn't locked, sitting tall. Inhale, reaching for the sky. Deep breath in, exhale as we fold forward, let the hands land wherever it feels most appropriate once again. Deep inhale, feel the chest, we'll notice how the chest starts to expand as we take a deep breath in. And exhale, sinking into the breath. We'll take one more deep inhale here. Let's let the arms come out to the side. So imagine we're coming up to T with our arms. The core is active, so belly button to spine. We're gonna tuck our chin, use the core muscles to bring the torso back up. Sitting tall, let's bring the left foot back to the starting position. Elongate through the spine. Let's take another deep breath, gazing forward or close the eyes, noticing how it is to lengthen. Noticing how it is to just bring some movement into the body. And we're going to do just a couple of cat and cow variations. So from our next breath, we're going to inhale, take the right arms over the head, right leg into the ceiling. Exhale as they land on the thighs. We're going to inhale, opening through the chest, shoulder blades back. We imagine our tailbone is coming behind us as we open through the chest, through the front of the body, deep breath in. And then as we exhale, chin to chest, round in the spine. You can feel free to close the eyes if that feels appropriate. We're going to be here for a few more moments. Inhaling, deep breath, chest open, shoulder blades come back. Exhale, we round the spine. Now just squeezing it all the breath out. One last time as we inhale, open through the front of the body. And exhale, let that breath go, rounding the spine. Sitting up tall once again, lengthening through the spine. Let's 
open up through the shoulders. We'll do one arm stretch here before we come to our resting pose, finishing up here with our mini little seated chair stretches. Sitting up tall, we're gonna open up our arms once again toward, to our, towards a T shape. We're gonna give ourselves a hug. Let's, let's start. Let's give ourselves a great big hug for taking this practice. No matter what time of day, morning, evening, night. We're trying to pull shoulders up or the elbows up to shoulder height. And the elbows are being pulled away from us. We're sitting tall still. Our feet are grounded. Core is strong. With a beautiful stretch, so maybe imagine the elbows can come a little further away. With that stretch, you should feel into the shoulders, upper back, maybe neck, wherever you feel it is perfect. Just let the next breath come in. And then as we exhale, we'll open up those arms, let the arms come up to the side, and then let's switch. So whichever arm was on the top is now going to be on the bottom. Give ourselves another hug here. Again, maybe this time we start to walk our fingers back. Maybe we start to walk our fingers and we can grab our shoulder blades. It's not necessary. If that's not going to happen, we're just imagining we get those elbows over each other. They may or may not be there. We just want to feel that stretch into the arms. We can close the eyes. Take it inward as we take another moment. Deep breath in. And then as we exhale, we'll open up once again through the torso. Release the arms down to the sides. Let's finish up with a few wrist stretch stretches here. So these are great for just helping, especially if you're getting some tend tendinitis or any rheumatoid, or rheumatoid arthritis or anything with your wrists. You gotta keep those areas nice and moving. So we're just gonna make a fist and we're just gonna draw some circles here. So allow yourself to start to stretch through the wrist. So to bring in knuckles towards the wrist as we come around. And then we'll switch coming into the other direction. So we want most of the movement to be coming from the wrist with that nice long arm. Let's do a few more. We want to do about the same amount of circles. However many we do, we do the same amount on each side. And then slowly come back to center. Gently with the span, stretch those fingers nice and wide. You can imagine those pulling those fingers in different directions, and then let the hand come down. Let's do it the other side. Let's come forward and make a fist. Let's start to draw those circles. While we're here, we take a moment to notice how this feels. Maybe one side just feels a little bit smoother than the other. Maybe one side is easier. Whatever we might be labeling to it, we just become aware. This is a great time to take that focus. Just notice how each side can be very different. And switch if you haven't. Make sure we're doing the same amount of circles in the opposite direction. And then we come back to whatever we've noticed. Whatever we've noticed, once again, just allow it to be. There's no judgment. We don't worry about whether that's good or bad. We want to allow that whatever we observe, even if we put an opposite judgment to it. Just let it come in and then we allow that breath gently from you. Don't need to attach it. It's just an awareness, just noticing how it feels. Then we'll come back through center, we'll release the hands, stretch those fingers again nice and wide. Perfect. Sit up tall. So as we come to this final few moments here, it's time we'll just let ourselves come all the way back. We've been using those core muscles, so we'll sit back into the chair, let the spine be the spine and the back be supported. We're going to close the eyes. Make sure the feet are flat on the mat or floor. We're going to close the eyes, hands come onto the thighs. We'll take a deep breath in. As we exhale, just anything we might notice, any thoughts, observations, sensations, we just let them come up. And then as we take our next breath in, just maybe imagine that our breath is a light or just however you want to imagine your breath. It might be a white or a bright light coming in, breathing it in. And however you see your breath, you see it come in, and then it slowly, just as it exhales, it's taking away those thoughts, observations, just anything that might be what's come up through the practice. And if there's anything hanging out, we just let another breath come in.
allowing ourselves this moment to bring focus to the breath, noticing how it feels to come in. Gently start to come back to our body. We can wiggle our fingers and toes, start to open the eyes. If it feels appropriate, give yourself a hug. Stretch your arms long, whatever feels good. So I hope you enjoyed that. We always finish with our namaste, which to me feel means the light within me acknowledges and sees the light within you. And I hope you've had some benefit. I hope this will help you through your healing, no matter where you are.